Yo, we back with the second part, man. You guys, if you guys haven't um haven't watched uh, my first um reaction video on the first part, it's gonna be right here. I mean, it's gonna be right here at the end of this video. Go check it out if you haven't. Go check it out, man. And um, let's get let's get straight to this drama. You feel me? Let's get it. Mm. Let us know. Yeah. You thought I was done. I'm not even close to finishing it, bro. I'm not close to finishing it, bro. What's the, the tea? You Give us a tea. From the last video, I just basically explained how much of a nigga this nigga Sid is. Yeah. But let me tell you how much more of a nigga this nigga Sid really is, bro. Let's now, hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Group. Basically, the Steve. whole point of us having this these group was basically like another AMP, right? We're supposed to be a bunch of lit shit, niggas like having fun, out. you know, like turning up and shit like that. You feel me? We're supposed to be a bunch of lit niggas, you know, mm -hmm. having fun turning up. We feel me? We got all types of creative, feel me? And at the time when the idea was presented to me because it was Sid's idea, he was basically like, yo, let's make a group, call it Steez, yeah. whatever, this and that, and... You feel me? Be the next big thing, makes big group, right? But what's yeah. crazy about this group is that the word Steez originally came from Call a Kid, right? Call a Kid, it's, oh, it's I don't so really it's know him like that, number one. The first time I met Call a Kid is when I first was, like when he first started doing YouTube back then. You feel me? But remind you people, that was probably my first and my last time ever seeing Call a Kid until now, like... 2022 going to 2023 that's when like he started being around more you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. and then he started being around sid and then you know he would say like weird saying saying to a point like he'll just say steez and then we all started saying steez but this nigga sid decided to take this this saying and making it into a group right this man makes it to a group gather all us niggas around me wonder jeff Suave and call a kid and made it turn into Steez, a Steez group basically. Mm -hmm, What's mm -hmm. crazy about it is prior to when we we're doing Steez and all that shit, all that Steez is under his name, Sid's name. Fam, the man took call a kid saying and turned to his brand. The whole Steez is under Sid. Whatever money we made, it went straight to his pockets, bro. The crazy thing is about it is the nigga said told me that this channel was basically was made for us of paying the rent for the Steez crib. Cause he basically said the crib is our crib. It's everybody crib that's part of Steez. But how the fuck you're making money off of this channel and I'm still paying twelve hundred a month still. I'm still paying oh, rent like hell a regular no, fucking, but what the fuck is this shit? shit bro. Regular human that I was living there, bro. Oh, he turned the hell brand, no. another nigga name into a brand and put it under his name, everything. All that YouTube shit is straight to him. The uh, account. He knows the password. Only he knows the password. This and that. How we a group and only one nigga controls, bro. You're basically like, yo. Like, nah, that's some crazy, crazy shit, shit bro. bro. I'm like, pretty sure all of us supposed to be in on it. Yes. We made an LLC supposed to be on a separate account, a separate check, everything. The money goes straight to your pocket. I ain't gonna lie, you're just being played, buddy. No this this man was not never once, your friend man. for real, bro. This man not was once, using bro. you, man. So this is my message he, to call a kid, right? Yo, this is this, hold on. This is how people use people, bro. Like, yo, if you, yo, I'm, I'm telling you guys this straightforward. If you guys have a friend and you, and you guys have a YouTube channel about it, and he's he's mostly, he knows all the past, so he knows everything. He's not letting you do shit except for filming videos um, with you, bro. You need to, you need to leave, bro. You need to run, like let that, let that man or woman, let, bro. You need to run, bro. That is not your friend, bro. They're trying to, they're trying to make money off of you. I'm telling you, bro. Like, <sighs> Come on, you man. You let this nigga take your brand, your name, your saying nah, into a brand that you nah. don't even get money off of. And this, you're part of this group that's because of due to your saying. And on top of that, you be deriding this man, bro. Because there was times when this man would try to kick you out of the group. He called your girl a in front of your face. And this man will always disrespect you. And then you will come looking at us for advice, bro. What? The man will literally Yo, that's the good. <laughs> That's why Keith is a bully, bro. <laughs> Yo, this man is a bully. Play on your name and downplay you like a dog. And he's nah. using your brand, bro. Nah, bro. He's making money off your brand, your face, and he's trying to kick you out. He nah, just basically took bro. it that and is... made a brand, bro. Notice how the magician shit was the last 
video that we did, bro. And the channel actually you know gonna, gonna shit wasn't soon. right, bro. Everything he literally told Collar Kid, anything Steve that he made, take it off because he felt like Collar Kid was ruining the brand. Like this man, Collar Kid had a YouTube channel called the Steve's Channel, the Steve's Family. The man said literally called this man Collar Kid and said, "Yo, take that shit down. You're ruining the brand." This man said to control of everything. Did he take everything, it out, fam? We did not see nothing, bro. All that shit went to his wow, pockets. Holy How the we a group, anyway, it's, it's going to your pockets. What's Yo, bro, my thing is, why the heck did you stay in there for, for that long, bro? My thing is, but why? Why are you guys getting played by this man, bro? Are you dumb? My, what I'm saying is, bro, that could never be me, bro. That could never be me, bro. Nah, or oh, hell nah, bro. What? Monkey cartoon characters dancing like... Like goofballs, call the kid, you should be ashamed of yourself, yeah, fam, for letting that happen to still be sliding with this man, riding with this man. And I understand you're only 19, but this is me talking to you now. Fuck Sid, bro. Let me relax. Let me relax. He's talking to you as a as a Haitian man, bro. You let a, a, a Mexican zold you, bro. How the fuck a zold get zold, bro? You let a Chico sold you, bro. Damn. And if y'all don't know what sold mean, you basically let a nigga hold you. Steal you out your money. Rob you out your pockets. Just took your brand and everything. You got to sit on business, bro. not yours. This nigga said even named his dog Steezy, bro. He oh, took hell no. everything from you, bro. Hey, bro, at I'm that point, sure yo, yo, yo. Y'all don't even follow each other, bro. It makes so much sense because you're finally now realizing it. And I'm glad you are. Yeah, that's good, bro. This man. That's a fake ass really nigga. Took a Get that nigga out your life, bro. Another nigga saying, hey, man. To his own bro, listen, honey, listen, man. I don't want no trouble. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> fuck it. I'm saying on business today. You feel me? I don't give a fuck. Hey, man. He, this dude right here, based on what he's saying, I think he's telling the truth. Man, yo, he got receipts. He's bringing out facts. I ain't gonna lie, there's no reason for me to not believe him. Unless King Seed, unless King Seed um, bring out a video saying otherwise and giving concrete evidence that this dude right here is lying. Other than, other than that, bro, he's telling the truth because he, he's bringing out receipts and everything. I'm seeing everything clearly and what he's saying goes with what he's showing, bro. He's telling the truth. His own LSC, he's getting all the money in the world. And to this day, he still has this channel up, making whatever cheese is making. And you know what's crazy about it? What's crazy, If bro? you look at the channel, and you look at the banner, it's not even none of us that's there. That's none what I'm saying. Started, it's not there. This nigga even changed... Who the heck is this dude, bro? This was out of the picture right here, but that's crazy. Nah, yo! Only yo! And put another nigga there that never was even part of it. I'm oh. talking about you, Pete. He put a nigga named Pete so ugly. I'm Nate so ugly. You're basically trying to replace me for another nigga that's inspired by me. And what's crazy about it, Pete, you unfollowed me due to the fact that you was hanging out with bro. Listen, I understand how that goes. Bro's gonna feed you some bullshit, whatever, this and that. Or maybe you just unfollowed me out of spite. But that's crazy because I just wished you happy birthday recently and two days later you just unfollowed me. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie, listen to me, bro. As a real nigga, you're not gonna grow under that nigga. Notice your best views is with that nigga. He's basically trying to make you feel good. Grow on your on your own. Don't become bro. Bro is trying to us. He already damn near us, telling us to dance like monkeys while he's creating this channel. We basically did. That's why that that, that channel, that magician shit, was the last video, fam. You see, yeah, this is what I'm saying, bro. I would never, yo, I would ever, ever let him, let another let. I would never ever let that. Oh, what the fuck! I would never let another nigga like try to say, "Oh, I made you." Fuck that! I would rather stay with my fucking twenty five views, bro. I don't give a fuck. Nah, I don't care, bro. Cause as a man, bro, that's something called pride. Okay, you you should you should have that shit. And when somebody say, "Oh, like I made you," like you you like ten like three weeks ago, you was nobody. Like. I raised you like you, you my son for real. I'd be like, who the fuck is you talking to? Bro? Nah, that's that's a that's a different that's a different feeling right there. And that is why, bro, I would rather stay with my freaking 
for my 50, 60, 70 views, whatever how many views I get on my own because at the end of the day, I know I did that myself. Nobody else helped me but me. And that's the best feeling you could ever ask for. I ain't gonna lie. That's the best feeling you could, you could ever ask for. That's the best, best feeling you could ever ask because it's especially if you if your video blows up, you're like, damn, I really did that. I really did that. That's why all all this um clout chase but I like I don't know why you why, what you guys are doing. You guys, you guys just wanna be be famous quick. You guys don't wanna go through the process, but trust the process. Me, I've been doing this for a year. I know I know it takes a long time. I know I'm not gonna blow. I'm not gonna blow up overnight. It's consistency. I know that. So. That that shit right there is is is, is nah, bro. Last nice video. Said, bro, you are one sick man, fam. To use us, to manipulate us, to make you think that this shit was a group. The group is grouping. We just working for you. We're just puppets in your mind games. This not even a group, cause I'm pretty sure groups don't do this shit. You want to take control of everything, bro. Nah. And then you got niggas around you that's d riding you, fam. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. Well, you got real niggas like us that grew up with you that's telling you no. But you want niggas to be around you that's telling you yes. Yeah, That's yeah. your f problem. Yes. Preach. That's Amen, so my boy. Sad, fam. <laughs> Amen, my boy. Like, you never just looked in the mirror and see how sad you are, fam? You took another nigga's brand. I gotta I got keep repeating this shit because that's how f***ing sad it is, bro. He took another nigga's brand, bro. Another nigga saying, only Carla Kid was saying Steve's at the time, right? He took his brand. He made it to a group. He took his brand. He LLC the shit. The shit's under his fucking name. Only said, guess the cheese, everything. The nigga said, basically, took everything that's part of Steve's. The YouTube channels, only he knows the password. Mm -hmm. The Instagram, he gave us password to the Instagram, but he still took control of that. Everything. The man want to be a dictator. He's on that dictatorship shit. And then on top of that, prior to when he's creating a group, he's trying to kick you out. Every time he, at and times the, when he don't like, when he do little certain shit. He what? He's trying to kick you out when the name he is your name? He don't fucking want you at times. He tried to kick you out. He called you at a time when you was with your girlfriend in front of your face. And what did you do? You still ride along with him. You still oh tag along god. with him. Fam. Oh my god, bro. Oh my Un -fucking god. Unfucking believable, fam. Yo. How dare you? Yo, hold How on, bro. Nowadays, bro, there's only one thing, bro. SOB, bro. Stand on fucking business, bro. You gotta stand on business. That's what I'm saying. Yo, you gotta stand on business, bro. <laughs> I'm sad for you to let another man walk over you like that, oh, bro. Oh nah, bro. Don't make this man feel like no big. Yeah, he walk over you too. Yeah. <laughs> you can't say that about the other nigga. He walk all over you too. You let him walk over you. <laughs> over you like that, bro. Yeah. He Don't was. make this man feel like no big dog. He's a human just like you. My yeah, man. bro. You just gotta realize. All this money shit that's behind this shit, whatever, Word. whatever it is, bro. Live in the world with respect, my nigga. Have respect for your self, bro. Yes, bro. Have respect for yourself, bro. Yes. This is me talking to you, bro. This is the truth, fam. This Steve's group was this group. All this shit was ran under this nigga. He basically took everything, bro. And we was fucking puppets. All these ideas. Notice these ideas are his ideas. A smash or a pass. The only fucking video that was probably unique and we all came up with is when we was trying to make make money for a dollar. Other than that, it's still his ideas, fam. Even the magician shit was hot, his idea. Notice the majority of the videos was still his ideas. The smash or pass. The find your match. It's still high deep. His ideas is just converted to his channel. Doesn't that make so much sense? How the f we create a group and we're still doing the same shit what another nigga's doing on his channel, fam? How the fuck we create a group and we're still doing the same shit on, on another nigga, what he's doing on his last channel? It's like we're, we're, we're just basically on King Sid Part 2. You should've just named that shit, bro. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, bro. That's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah. You let that, you let that man. Play. He crazy, played you, bro. bro. He played you for real, bro. I but know you must be going through it right now. Hey, Sid, bro. You know what you're doing. It has to stop immediately, fam. You're done. 
Now let him go. He's gonna find. He's gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna try to play the, the wrong person, bro. I ain't gonna lie, yo. My advice for everybody out here, you feel me? One thing that, as a man, you should have, especially with social media and everything. I feel like that's one thing that people kind of lost. I ain't gonna lie, especially when they're doing this content creator, like when they're really so so view, so like you know, so so hungry for views. They lost. They lost the self respect, bro. That's they. Lo they lost it. I'm telling you, that's a big thing, bro. Especially as a man, you should have that shit, bro. You should know when to say, yo, nah, bro, yeah, you relax. Yeah, I'm not gonna let you talk to me like that. There are things I'm not gonna let you say in front of me or in front of my girl, da 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 da. You gotta know, you gotta know your worth, bro. And, and especially in content creator, but some people, some people, bro, they just because they have this amount of followers, they're gonna try to they just, they're gonna, they're gonna try to bitch you and, and and make you and make you their little slave, bro. You gotta you gotta know your worth, even though you don't have a lot of followers or a lot of um, subs, whatever the case is, you gotta let them know, bro. Just because you have this amount of followers, that don't mean you you can do you can say or do whatever the fuck you wanna do to me, bro. Fuck all that shit. You gotta put some respect on my name, yeah. But um, that's my that's my that's my advice for you guys right here. And um, this was my last. This was my um reaction to this video, man. Hope you guys like it. If you guys do, <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and um, uh, catch you guys in my next video. And we out.